tying back into that. I was not so lucky. So, anyway, Bob, take it away. Regardless with this whole Okay, okay. So, suffice to say, finally, we learn that we're going to get a refrigerator. It's going to come. It's going to come nine days after it was initially supposed to be there. Whatever. But fine. Like, you know what? Fine. It's just, it's not like we needed it right away. It's just a refrigerator. And this morning, I was literally on a call with you guys. We were getting ready to do exactly what we're doing right now. And, and my, my phone, phone starts, starts ringing. ringing. It's the delivery guys. And, and I pick I it up, up and he's like, we'll be there in 10 minutes. minutes. And, I'm and I'm like, why, why did, did the system tell me 11 to 3 then? then? And he's like, I don't know, sir. We're on our way. And I'm like, this is incredibly inconvenient. Can you come at the time that you're scheduled? He's like, nope, we're on our way. And then I literally to you guys, I was like, okay, I gotta go, I guess. We'll do this later, right? Okay, bye. Schedules are for nerds. <laughs> so that's how it starts. <laughs> and they show up there, and I'm like, okay, okay so we already tried, tried to deliver this. You guys can't come in through the front. front. There's a door that it won't fit through. So you kind of have to go around back. I'll show you. And he's like, what do you mean we can't come through the front? And I'm like, I mean, we've been here. I just saved you some time. It won't fit. And he's like, no, no, let me measure it. Literally. So, so he comes in and he looks and he measures the little door to the kitchen. He looks at me and he's like, oh, yeah, it's definitely not going to fit through here. And I look at him and I'm like, uh -huh, you want to see the side door? And so we have a fridge in there and it already has a water line because it has an ice maker. It's supposed to be some kind of shut off. These guys, These guys cannot, cannot find the shut off to the water line. And he looks at me and he's like, there should be a shut off. You should know where that is. I'm like, bro, I just fucking bought this house. Can you call a previous homeowner? Like, get out of the car. We're buddies. I bought a house and now we get dinner every two weeks. Obviously. So he just unhooks the water and the water is just like. <laughs> and he just takes the slide real quick. Like, he unhooks it, and he holds it up to me, and is like, I'm going to need you to hold this so we can finish. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. Do this. Get that fucking thing out of here. Bring the other one in here. Let's do this. And so I'm standing in my own kitchen holding the water line, and there's a front window in the kitchen, so I can see they bring the old one out, and see them go out to the front where the truck is, and then I see them with the new refrigerator, and they bring it around, and so I know they're like on the way. And I'm just standing there, and I just hear from the backyard, like, Whoosh! <laughs> and then one guy goes, oh shit! <laughs> and they just start rushing around, and I just, I walk out there, and there's water is erupting up out of the ground what the like a geyser Those idiots broke the water main. I don't know what has happened. Apparently, what genius number two did is they had the fridge on a dolly, and there was a bush. And apparently just fucking destroyed this bush. But also inside this bush is a PVC pipe coming out of the ground that's part of, like, the irrigation system. What he did was he dragged the fridge right through the bush, and, and snapped, snapped off the, the fucking PVC pipe. And, and what they, they were doing is one of them was standing there staring, like, like thinking, and, and the other one had the broken off <laughs> PVC pipe. It, it was, was trying, trying to, like, jam it back, back on. on. Like, like it, it was, was just, just gonna, gonna slip right, right back, back on. on. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, they looked at me and were like, apparently the guy who was standing there watching is the one who did it. And he looked at me and he was like, I can't believe that pipe was in there. It was hidden in there. And I just, it's an accident. You know? And, and like, like, it's, it's not, not like it's a little flower, flower or something you could like, like ooh, push it over and scoot it. It's a big, big fucking bush. bush. To, to get, get the thing through, through where he got, got it through, he literally had to pull it up to that gap and it stopped and he was like, ooh, this bush is in the way. And he was just like, no, it's not. Let's go. <laughs> Basically, oh. little devil on the shoulder like, fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what led them to that action, but there's no version of that that's not just so fucking stupid that it makes me unbelievably angry. Finally, I'm like, we need to shut the water off to the house. The guy who seemed to be in charge of this was like, right, 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 the water main. And, and he handed me the pipe and was like, like hold this, this on there. there. <laughs> and I was there and you're like, this doesn't seem like how you install, install the fridge. <laughs> it's not. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> I had a dumb, dumb moment whenever I was younger. I was on the lawnmower. 
and there was a specific part of the yard that I remembered Blake telling me, hey, be careful mowing around that. And I was like, okay, I'll be careful. And every time I mowed around it, I was very careful. But this one time, it slipped past my, my psyche.